In this video, I'm going to talk about different forms of headache, including the tension, cluster, and migraine headaches. So tension headaches presents with a bilateral steady headache that is usually precipitated by stress or fatigue. And for the treatment of these patients, you can give them NSAIDs, like for instance ibuprofen, or you can give them acetaminophen. Next, we have cluster headaches, which are unilateral and present with the periorbital pain as well as lacrimation and rhinorrhea. And then these patients also have Horner-like syndromes such as for instance ptosis as well as meiosis. So if you recall, Horner presented with triad of PAM, PAM, PAM is horny, it presented with ptosis and hydrosis as well as meiosis. So these patients do not have anhydrosis, in fact they do have excess lacrimation, but then they do present with ptosis and meiosis in patients that have cluster disease. And then for the treatment, you can provide them with 100% oxygen or you can treat them medically with the SUMA tryptan. Now, one other point I would like to mention here is that sometimes uh, you may confuse cluster headaches to trigeminal neuralgia, but one important differentiating factor is that trigeminal neuralgia usually lasts less than one minute versus cluster headaches that are usually more than 15 minutes. Next, we have migraines, which presents with a pulsating headache that lasts about four to 72 hours and is usually unilateral and present with nausea and is also disabling. So the patient cannot continue doing their work if they develop migraine. And then they may also present with aura before developing uh, migraine. In addition, migraines are more common in females and is thought to be due to the hormonal changes that is associated with menstruation. So the memory aid that I've provided you here is called pounding. So P goes for pulsating. O goes for 4 to 72 hours, U goes for unilateral, N goes for nausea, and then D goes for disabling headache. And for the treatment of these patients, you can provide them with SUMA tryptan, which activates the serotonin receptors and thus cause vasoconstriction. And then the alternative medication is ergotamine which is a serotonin antagonist, but at the same time, ergotamine acts on the alpha adrenergic receptors and thus cause vasoconstriction. And it's actually thought that migraine is due to the distension of the brain vessels. So these medications help relieve the migraine by causing the vasoconstriction. Now for the prophylaxis, in order to prevent future episodes of migraine, you can provide patients with tricyclic antidepressants, like for instance, mitriptyline. You can provide them with beta blockers, like for instance the propranolol, calcium channel blockers like verapamil, and then finally you can provide them with tapiramate, which enhances the GABA activity. So these are the medications that can be used for prophylactic treatment of patients with migraine. And that concludes our discussion.